Seat belts were first required in cars nearly 40 years ago. Back then, the average driver was a 40-year-old man. That's not the case today. In fact, more than 36 million drivers are over the age of 65. The outdated designs could lead to more injuries. Researchers at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center are working on a fix. Driving is something Helen Kessler is confident doing, even in her 70s. But she's not always comfortable because of her seat belt. I just put it across me and it usually goes across here, but by the time I get done driving, it's up closer here and I just pull it down each time. Seatbelt designs were based on dummies resembling average size 40-year-old men decades ago, not women with Helen's frame. Now drivers are more diverse and seatbelts can be less effective. It's not enough to keep someone my size maybe back in my seat and it's probably too much force to keep an elderly occupant in their seat, which could cause thoracic um, injuries. Researchers at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center are working with automakers to rethink safety systems, starting with smaller models that more closely represent more fragile older drivers. We're doing some studies to look at how strong are their ribs, how, how do they interact with the seat belt, potentially with airbags in, in a side impact uh, scenario. Experts say even minor accidents can cause injury along the seat belt line, on the collarbone, ribs, and pelvis. For younger drivers, those are rarely serious problems. But someone that's older, um, a couple rib fractures, flail chest, problems breathing, pneumonia, it can really build up and cause a lot more issues. Studies find older drivers wear the seat belts more than any other age group when involved in serious accidents. However, because they're more fragile, they're less likely to survive. This research may one day lead to technology that is built into your keys. It will know your age, height, and weight, so it can adjust the car seat belt accordingly. That's still years away, but by 2030, more than 60 million licensed drivers will be over the age of 65. I'm Dr. Manny, Fox News.